and welcome to Retro Roulette. She's a good girl. Loves her mama. Loves Jesus and horses, too. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dan Forgione. And she's also crazy about elves. Yes. And loves her boyfriend, too. For the same reason she likes horses. Uh, and Jason Amherst. <laughs> I don't think I want to know. They're both hung extraordinarily hey, well. <laughs> here's my impression of Tom Petty falling down the stairs. I'm falling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's two. It is time to play some SNES games. Spinning the wheel. See what's going first. We're up to All three. Right. We got three vetoes. Uh, actually, no. Actually, we have veto. four vetoes now. <laughs> All right. Uh, so. That's so, uh, yeah, let me remove that. So we've already landed on extra veto. Let's we'll spin again. Wow. Okay. Now we have five views. No, we have. No, we can only have up. We uh, we can only get one more on the uh, from the wheel at this point. So that would put us at five, and I've put the cap at six. So. Okay. No, so, because that's how many games we normally play during an episode or during a session. Flippity flabbity doo. Flippity flabbity flu. <laughs> let's let's see what we got going here. Ooh, epic. Hmm. Is this a shmup? Might be. Uh, no. Cyber. I actually was just playing uh, this the other day. Uh, this is the American version of Assault Suit Vulcan. Yes. That is correct. Uh, it... it it got re-released recently on uh, Switch and other platforms uh, with Assault Suit Vulcan Declassified. Huh? Oh, it's a it's a anime adjacent game. Mm. More or less, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Konami released it without the uh, license mm. attached. The license. Yeah. Uh, developed by Messiah. Second entry in the Assault Suit series, which is actually a prequel to the first game, Target Earth. Oh my god, Jesus is playing? Yep. It's amazing. Yeah, the, the localization's a little harebrained here. It's so, uh... The story follows Jake Brain, who pilots a giant mecha and fights in a war engulfing the entire you mean world. Jake Hairbrained? Ah. Ah. Force our way into the colony. The plan was a dangerous one, and we knew that some of us would not return. We would go directly on vacation after this. <laughs> so the game has two endings the bad ending can be acquired if the player fails any mission in the game such as failing to stop Ark Nova from falling and or allowing the enemy space shuttle to escape in the fifth mission in this ending the Versus is critically damaged and most of her crew are killed including Kriya, Jake's partner and superior which leaves Jake devastated in the credits the game over screen also states that the player has not completed their mission player succeeds in the side missions, the Versus survives, Jake returns to the carrier, the war is over, Jake and Kriya embrace each other on the Versus' deck as, as the Cybernator suit falls into pieces. So, this is one of those you have to do the side missions to get the actual good ending kind of games? Yeah. <coughs> well, like, uh, for example, the, the first boss fight, if you don't destroy this thing before it, like, connects with the ship then the gun fires and it's instant game over i don't i don't think i like games like that i yeah I like I, I like i said i was trying this out the other day playing it on my switch and i was like oh okay that kind of sucks oh you can switch between your uh gun and punching things which will help you get rid of the enemies with the shields 
I gotta tell you, this this mech that you're walking around in has some thick ass thighs. There's also uh, there's also that dash button that makes you boost across the uh, ground. Mm -hmm. But the punch gets rid of those shielded enemies nice and easy, which is nice. And I like that you can shoot in all directions. You've got kind of like that little floaty jump, thanks to the uh, rocket booster. Use the boost to get through. Do -do 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 uh, huh. Toshiro Sachita was the producer. He later joined G-Craft and worked on the game Front Mission. Hmm. Uh, soundtrack composed by Masanao Akahori was released as an official soundtrack CD in Japan. Lots of censorship, apparently. Um, Japanese version featured written dialogue accompanied by a portrait of the speaker. These portraits were removed for localization. Because Animu is illegal in the early 90s, apparently. I don't know. Uh, there's a scene absent in which the president of the enemy forces, whose banner is that of the European Union, after realizing that his nation has been defeated, commits suicide. Well, uh, Also, some written dialogue was taken out, which shows the soldier rescued in the fourth level being in the robot fought before the final boss. However, the few human enemies in the game remain that are minuscule in scale versus the machines throughout the game with no censorship when they're killed. Also, the instruction manual is filled with inconsistent information, apparently in the English version. Oh, that's... So it's a Castlevania 2 thing, huh? Yeah. Uh, the instruction manual states the suit is five stories tall and five tons, which is seriously underweight for a machine that tall. That is literally what the Wikipedia article says in parentheses. Contrary this, to promotional this, material, this robot has bulimia. Four stories tall. <laughs> is what we're it's a to bulimic say. robot. Yeah, this robot needs to eat a couple of cheeseburgers. <laughs> what? You're only five tons. Ugh, you're, you're practically a skeleton. <laughs> so. So apparently, uh, this game has been ported numerous times. Uh, Europe, Australia, and Japan got it on PS2 under the actual title. Uh, and then Cybernator itself came out on Virtual Console in Europe and North America in 2007 for the Wii. Uh, as well as Wii U, apparently, in 2015. But then M2 handled the uh, recent port, uh, which includes... Uh, a digital recreation and translation of the official 80-page Japanese guidebook, interviews with the designers, pre-production artwork, save states, unlockable cheats, and an option to switch between the original and newly arranged soundtracks. Ooh, fancy. User one chance, fancy. Don't let me down. Uh, it got a 32 out of 40 in Famitsu Magazine. Okay. Uh, Game Fan Magazine called it definitely one of the best games for the big SNES. For the big SNES, not the little one. Um, IGN scored the game 8 out of 10 when it hit Virtual Console. Uh-huh. Well, that's... Um... I mean, I'm not really digging the whole concept of if you don't do every single side mission and if you don't do something pixel perfect, you get a game over automatically. I mean, but, this this was 1992 slash 93. So yes, they, yeah. they got to wring those uh, rental dollars out of it, you know? Right, that's true. I mean, having said that, um, so far, this, yeah, this, is a, this is a nice looking game. Not too shabby. Yeah. Uh, destroy the thing down below you. Below you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll, oh, I'll below the, you. The gun might be a little bit better than the punching. 
Uh, I don't remember. Oh, it's, okay, so this. <laughs> I don't remember. I can't recall. I got no memory. I'm ready to go go up a little higher. It's getting away. Stop it. Stop him. Stop him. There we go. Mission complete. <laughs> That was close. Bebity bip boop boppity. That's as that's as far as I got in uh, playing the Switch version. So from here on out, I don't know shit. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know shit about fuck, my man. I don't know fuck about shit about fuck about fuck about shit about fuck. Okay. Yeah, but this this is we're a pretty neat game. I mean, we're headed to the Dave Matthews the Band that, song. Satellite. The fact that we got an accurate translation with all those extra uh, features added onto it is pretty damn sweet. So much to say, so much to say, so much to say. Look in the mirror, my friend. Um. Well, you <laughs> you got like you got like squished name. against the rock. Get off of me, jabroni! <laughs> Did you see the picture of him in that uh, movie about the a uh, MMA fighter? I did not. Yeah, he's looking like he's looking a lot like Ken Shamrock in that photo. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Really? Yeah. Can we, can we get a? Can Future Mike put up a picture of that? Uh, what he looks like? Oh my hmm. god! Editing? I haven't oh. had to do that in a while. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, this level is very schmuppy. Oh, hmm. If it's like picture, one part Contra, one part Gradius. You know, if this is if this is the correct picture, he if you squint a little bit, he kind of looks like Kurt Angle. Oh shit! <laughs> the the Rock Angle. The the Wrangle. The Wrangle. <laughs> the Wrangle. <laughs> what? What's up? The wrangle isn't real. He cannot hurt you. Whereas if it, The Rock and Kim Shamrock combined, they'd be Kim Shamrock. <laughs> oh. uh. Uh. Don't worry about me. I'm only going to squash myself up against The Rock 70 or 80 more times. <laughs> 20 years in the future, I've won my fourth Tony. <laughs> I, I visit my... Well, the 8,326th time is the charm, Dane! What? I can't understand you anymore. God damn it. Moosh. <laughs> Hello, Mike. That's it's a pretty cool scared. effect uh, when the uh, the numbers are flying by. Yep. Don't run into any roids. Somebody Captain's should, orders. Somebody should have said that to Crispin Raw. <laughs> 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 uh, Don't run Mr. into Benoit. any roids. <laughs> Mr. Benoit, I cannot stress the seriousness of what I'm telling you. Do not run Probably into any roids. Into any it's because you might kill your wife, your child, and then yourself. Yep. Ah, fuck that. I'm going to do 27,000 headbutts off the top row. I think one of the shoulder buttons also lets you pull up a shield. And then Dave Matthews Banner is going to write a song about it. They're bone down with the murder suicide now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Boosters <laughs> away! 
Chris Benoit, he killed himself. He's a parasite. He's a parasite. <laughs> his brain was mangled by parasites. <laughs> Oh no! That Kennedy guy. <laughs> My favorite Brain Pokemon worms. is Magnemite. <laughs> My favorite Bobby Darren song is Magnemite. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go beat my wife. <laughs> I don't think Dave Matthews, ba Dave Matthews, yeah, Dave Matthews Band, because they're married to the same woman. <laughs> I don't think Dave Matthews has ever beaten his wife. Dave, Dave Matthews Wedding Band. You know, I'm from South yeah. Africa, so I know about apartheid. More, more so than uh, Elon Musk. Yeah. You know, I do think that me saying that he beats his wife was too much to say, too much to say. <laughs> I told you, 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 I didn't know I that. told you. I fucking, <laughs> fucking told you. <laughs> Technically, you realize, though, that makes Dave Matthews an African-American. Yeah, I made that joke before. I know. I'm just reiterating. It's been a while. I did it. <laughs> I motherfucking did it. I told you why I told you why I did. I told you I told you why I did. Guilty as charged. Burger King, I ate all that greasy ass shit. I did I'd rather it. have win. Ooh, ooh, I think that was help, that letter P. I could have been wrong, though. Guilty Too bad you were filthy ass blood. farts. That's a hard ass game. You know, Billy Carter, he has a preschool graduation. We don't know. Sometimes those go on at 8 o'clock at night. Those preschoolers know how to party. <laughs> <laughs> Damn familial obligations. Mm. That's why I don't have any siblings. I'm sorry, I have to go to I have to go to my great aunt Louise's uh console scraping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to go to this uh, this event that is scheduled long before and doesn't overlap with the record session. I'm not going to be there. <laughs> I have to go because I have something that's scheduled for one fall. <laughs> one fall! I have a doctor's appointment next Thursday. I won't be there tonight. <clears throat> oh, okay. <laughs> Hey, so listen, um, Mike, I, in 2028, I'm going to go to Europe. So I, won't, so I won't be, I won't, I won't be, I won't be at the court. <laughs> oh, th there we go. That might be health back there, right there, that box. Yeah, grab that. It is not. Okay. Okay. P is not health. Got it. I, unless you're in China, P has never been health. <laughs> what are you what are you trying to say? <laughs> Alright, I'm I'm done. I thought that was a German thing actually. That's poo. And that's only over a glass table. <sighs> Alright, thoughts on Cybernator Day. Mark your Vince McMahon. <laughs> this actually this wasn't too bad. Um, like I said, not really a fan of the whole you have to do uber specific side missions to get the good ending. Uh, I would prefer not having to do a fucking homework assignment to beat a game. That's but, fair. Um, the plus side, very good graphics. 
seems very easy to control, except when you get smooshed into rocks. Yeah. But uh, other than that, this is a very good game. Smooshed into rock, Dinosaur Hunter. Uh, Jason? Yeah, this is a classic SNES hard game, and I'm glad it got a proper translation and re-release. Messiah makes some great uh, shmups. Uh, They would also go on to make uh, the hilariously homoerotic uh, Choaniki. Choaniki, uh, great brother. uh, Yep, on uh, PC Engine. It has been called a homosexual shooter. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, That that franchise is absolutely amazing. So, uh, yeah, Messiah can't go wrong with them. Konami did a good job bringing this to America, even if they did remove all the animu from it. Aminu. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, control's all right. Um, I'm not, uh, like Dane, I'm not a fan of the just hard, just to, just to be hard games. That's uh, it's not enjoyable for me. I don't play games to get frustrated. I get I play games to get away from frustration. That that's it's, And if you're going to make frustrate me while I'm trying to play a video game to get away from the frustration, that's just kind of productive. Scores out of 10, Dane. Seven. Jason. Eight. I'm going to go seven. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's hard, but is it is it Dark Souls hard, though? Is this the Dark Souls of shmups? <laughs> God, I hate when people call games that. All right, Jace, pick a game. Oh, shit. Oh, Oh, dang. Yeah, landed um, on Jason's choice. Let's see here. Um, you, you know what? Let's go with uh, Chester Cheetah, Too Cool to Fool. <laughs> All right. It ain't easy being cheesy. I, I would have gone with uh, Final Fantasy V, but I know you wouldn't get too far in that game. Here we go, Chester Cheetah. It's, uh, Final yeah, Fantasy V is a uh, guaranteed classic that's going to be good no matter what. Oh I wanted my to go God, for something. Chester weird. Cheetah was naked. Yes, yes, he was. He, he's still naked. It ain't easy being cheesy. It ain't Where's my cheesy can- being. Easy. Where's my candy wife? <laughs> Did you say my canned wife? Candy, candy wife? wife? Candy wife. Candy wife. Oh, that was uh, Jeff Bennett in uh, The Misadventures of Flapjack. Indubitably. All right, let's uh, do this. Get started. Game start. There we go. I'm righteous. I'm righteous kitty from the heart of. I am. I'm righteous kitty. <laughs> uh, I think they accidentally a word. Four corners zoo. With Yo, me, friend, it's time to split this. <laughs> me and Eugene on the scene. Wait a second. You know, for somebody who says they're captive in a zoo, you look like you're pretty out and about. Maybe this is what the zoo looks like on the inside. You don't know. Turtles on roller skates. Oh, naked girls on trampolines. Springs? Killer springs? A dog with a steamroller? What kind of sick game is this? Get out. <laughs> Damn I, uh... I think you love the sound effect. Oh my god. I think that's the invincibility. It's a very useless invincibility. I mean, uh, unless you want to do a sick fucking guitar solo, then it's okay. I just I, love I don't the, know how to I use the, his, web, uh, the items. I love his, I love his standing animation. Just like, hey, oh, <laughs> yeah. He can he can crawl too. Apparently, <laughs> just yeah. I just imagine him going. You like J- um, Chester? <laughs> Ch- 
Chester, I'm gonna need you to stop <laughs> doing that. Oh yeah, you can use the springs to grab the uh, the sunglasses. Um, um, yeah. or, you or can't you can swim. die in a shallow pool of water. That works too. Oh, 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 oh! I love fucking the <laughs> earth. <laughs> Yeah, you notice he never ejaculates. That's because he's too cool to spooge. <laughs> it ain't easy. Being jizzy. <laughs> Stop going down and go down. You know what I meant. Fuck you and your couch. Easy. It ain't easy making knuckle children. Oh, god damn it. Oh. Fuck. Oh, you're, I guess you're supposed to bounce on the... Oh, uh, for fish. fuck's sake. Uh, I think the R button runs. Does it? Yeah. Oh, it's just... Oh, Jesus! Whoa. Oh, I see. Wait, why this... Because I collected the sunglasses. You're wearing the sunglasses. I see. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is a... Uh... Fucking Mecha Spider Dog over here. I don't... Okay. Well, that's all right. That's great. Thanks. You, you just had to, like, dodge him. Oh, you okay, got to uh... Gotta go down the. Uh... Can you do like a buck bounce or something? Oh, never mind. Oh, I love fucking sewer pipes. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing an impression of me, Dane? <laughs> based on my based on my sexual history. <laughs> no, this would this would be doing an impression of you. Da, 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 da. I'm Mike Riley. No, I meant based on oh, ba uh, the piece to his motorcycle. I, I meant based on like the people that I've dated. <laughs> oh, the fucking skanks you dated. Yeah, sewer pipes. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Oh, Mike's a bitter man. No, I'm just kidding. No, nah. I bit her and I bit him. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucking fish. <laughs> Fucking everything's got sunglasses too. I just noticed that. Motherfucking fish, you're the worst. You're the worst band ever. <laughs> Not if you ask Drew Carey. Or or a bunch of stoners. From what he said on After Midnight about his experience with fish, uh, well, most of it was unbroadcastable, except it broadcasted anyway with bleeps. Oh wait, monkey pits! That, the new <laughs> At Midnight. How long has that been going? Have you seen that? Yes, and it's actually really funny. The bit I mentioned with Drew Carey is a must-watch. He describes okay. he describes his experience at uh, seeing fish at the Sphere in Vegas. In Las Vegas, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And he goes on a he, he steps out from behind the podium and goes on a minute long rant about how he was with some females at the time and he thought, is this what it's like to come with a pussy? True. <laughs> it's like how it's like being edged for three days straight and then fucking Gabriel comes down from the heavens, shoots heroin into your arm, and then your eyeballs fall out of your head. Jesus Christ, Drew. <laughs> this is one of the most unhinged things I've ever s I've seen on network TV in ages. I think uh, I think Drew Carey needs to go home. <laughs> and the best part of it all is like Thomas Lennon's just sitting in the background at another podium going, uh, HR would like to talk to all of you. <laughs> if you sit if you stay seated, HR will do like a duck duck goose and just ask all of you questions. It's it's fine, you'll be fine. <laughs> 
Hey, hey, ladies, Drew single. At least I think he is. Uh, I don't know. I'll be hey. honest. Uh, we, you know what's funny is that Weird Al was on that episode, and he wasn't the funniest thing about it, which is great. It was Weird Al, Drew Carey, and Thomas Lennon, which honestly, that's that's a hell of a trio. I would, I would, that is. I would, I would, wow. I would, I would see a buddy comedy with those three. Absolutely, I would. That episode really just affirmed my appreciation for Thomas Lennon. Hey, hey, fellas, did you know I own a soccer team? Who, Drew? The Sounders? Yeah, yeah the Seattle Sounders. Mm-hmm. Named after the thing you do when you insert a rod into your penis. <laughs> hey, well, I got you beat. I have Grammy Awards. <laughs> I own a soccer team, too. They're the Albuquerque ass fuckers. <laughs> Albuquerque, 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 yeah, Albuquerque. Yeah, I don't... I don't quite think that's 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 correct. But <laughs> what about you, Thomas? What have you done for, with your entire career? Um, <laughs> I was on uh, I was on Reno nine one one. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't have a fucking Grammy like you, you piece of shit. The Salt Lake City Sperm Jockeys is my favorite soccer team. No. All time. No. What? Mike, you're not going to take this seriously. <laughs> I am taking it seriously. It's a real team. Prove that it the isn't. Lake... <laughs> What's the name of it? Never mind. <laughs> the Salt Lake City Ass Crackers. I don't know. <laughs> oh, hey. oh, Ass Crackers. Ass Crackers. Can, being... Can I ask why you're being followed by a geriatric monkey? I don't have a single clue. Hey, I think you gotta like use the uh, you gotta use the the rope to swing across. Okay. Like the the rope at the very top of the level. Okay. Because like when you grabbed it, like you got yeeted like all the way to the right. Like, you gotta use, like, a running... Yep. I don't have the run function anymore. Ow. Oh! Whoops. Okay, so... You just got Fabio'd. (laughs) Nah, I wasn't a geese. This is... That's a very unsettling, uh... Well, that didn't work. Planking on a rope? Ah, piss. Would you like uh, to bring up the stuff? There we go. There we go. Perfect. Sunny Bono. Watch out for that. <laughs> you were going with the Georgia the uh, Jungle speak- reference. I went for the less tasteful uh, Sunny Bono reference. <laughs> Speaking of uh, the whole Fabio thing, um, they actually tested that recently. What do you mean? They threw geese uh, the at people on roller coasters? The slow-mo guys teamed up with Adam Savage uh, from Tested, uh, formerly of the Mythbusters, to shoot a uh, ballistic gel goose out of an air cannon at a uh, replica of Fabio's head. You know, for a split second, I thought you were going to say Adam Sandler. I'm just, Hello, would you like me to help you test the scary? Scuba to do. No, because if it, were, if it was Adam like... Sandler, Jason would be an extra in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jason. Would you like me to uh, discharge your crossbow? Shoot ballistic goose at uh, mannequin heads? Yeah, that sounds like fun. Stop staring at me, Swan. I gotta shoot you out of the cannon now. God damn it. I don't. Well, ever since I did Jack and Jill, people think I'm a crappy king.
They think you're a crappy thing? Yes. Do you have a problem with what I just said? <laughs> Alright. Bouncing on that kangaroo did nothing. It did nothing. It did nothing. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I don't know. I don't know about you, but Chester Cheaters is eye fucking us as he's climbing. Like, eh? You like what you see, baby? I'm climbing the rope. You <laughs> like what you see as I climb this rope? There's plenty of this to go around, baby. Plenty of cheese to go around. <laughs> um, see my dick? Dangerously cheesy. Also, I'm a this, sex offender. You see this cheetah costume? <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. Uh, yeah, I don't have any idea where I'm supposed to go. Neither do I. Neither do I. We got the spring in spring, beard. Uh, do you gotta bump that weird thing clinging to the tree? Uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> don't bump the glum. Nope. Or, well, I can beat it like in a regular enemy, I guess. Uh... Oh, there's running oh, shoes. Now you, get, now you got the running shoes. Stupid. <laughs> Thanks, Randy Orton. Ah, piss. <laughs> that is the weirdest climbing sound effect ever. I uh, yeah. Buck 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 buck. Oh, come on. It really sounds like you're you're spurting out sperm you, uh, when you're climbing. I think we've already established that Chester Cheetah is too cool to spooge. I know. What? Right? Oh! What? What? That was, uh, what? What, the, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is going on, Chester Cheetah? There we go. I thought you were too cool to fool. Goddamn, you fuck Muppet. Apparently he's been fooled. He's been the fool the whole time. Good ruse, everyone. Ted Cruz, everyone. <laughs> Blue suede shoes, everyone. <laughs> That's my favorite Elvis song. Elvis song. <laughs> Farnsworth went Swedish there for a minute. Oh, oh see, that's why you needed the uh, the geriatric monkey to get that piece to the uh, motorcycle. Ah, piss. Probably running start. Games games were weird back then when advertising mascots could, uh, you know, get their own game for no reason. Remember, Cool Spot had his own uh, game. Yeah, and then, of course, there was uh, Checks Doom. Checks mm -hmm. quest, yeah. Yep. Even Fido Dido had his own game. Well, technically, it never came out. Alrighty. Uh, thoughts on Chester Cheetah? Too cool to fool, Dane. Well, I tell you what, this game, this game certainly fooled me, and it's really not that bad. It's not what you would call a good flawless <laughs> game, but. I mean, it's 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 all right. It, it it didn't make me want to punch a baby, so there's that. Well, that's that's good. I'm glad it didn't make you want to punch a baby, <laughs> Jason. You know, it's not a bad game. It's not a good game. 
it's, it's a, a game, game that exists. Yeah, you know, but you know what? I mean, it's better than like the shitty freaking Commodore Amiga ports that were coming out on the Super NES and uh, Genesis at the time. I mean, it's and better than what you expect Genesis for too, wasn't Chester it? Cheetah. I'm pretty sure this was on Genesis. I think, I think it might have come out on Genesis. I know that they made two Chester Cheetah games, so yeah. eventually you'll have to play Which, another one. I don't know who was clamoring for a second Chester Cheetah game, but all right. Uh, the, the, the second one is not as good as the first. <laughs> Oi. Well, of all the games we've played on this show, this is certainly one of them. Uh, the, it's... <laughs> Yeah, it's it's kind of sluggish in its controls. That that the run having a wind up is kind of BS. Um, it's and, and and the lack of direction as to where to go is also a problem. Scores out of ten, Dane. Four. Jason, I almost called you Chester. Six. <laughs> I want to give it a four. Chester, <laughs> uh, wait till this game. <laughs> we'll wait till we land on the Chester's choice. <laughs> Any... uh, I think we should play Romance of the Three Kingdoms. I think you should shut the fuck up, <laughs> Chester Cheetah. <laughs> if you go straight to hell, Chester Cheetah. That's right. Hmm. Pro quarterback. Don't know about this one, guys. Hmm. Vito. Uh, Vito has been initiated. Jason? Vito. Vito has been completed. We are down to three. Get that shit off my screen. Get that shit off my screen. Spinning the wheel again to find out what we're going to play. Hopefully we don't get crap. Well, this will be fun. For me, anyway. Bulletproof software. It's Tetris. Tetris 2 and Bombless. Yes. Actually, Super Tetris 2 and Bombless. Hello, shit. This is a Japanese only game. Yep. Okay. Yeah, as Tetris 2, I think, only came out on the SNES, or uh, NES, rather. We didn't see Tetris hit the SNES until Tetris and Dr. Mario. Oh, B-O-O, -O. that's all I get. <laughs> boo. Player is boo! <laughs> well, that's just, that's just mean. All right. All right, well. It is basically Tetris. Ah, shit. Yeah, there's, um... So this is a little, um... A little underwhelming. I thought it was going to be something... I mean, we have yet to play Bombless, which I will get to at some point here. That game is great. Maybe. That game is the <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Stay alive. alive. Stay alive. Yeah, this is this is back when he Tetris was hardcore because you couldn't save a piece. Hmm. Hardcore Tetris. Kids, kids these days got it too easy being able to save a piece. And it ain't easy being cheese. It ain't easy being the son of God, Jeezy. It ain't easy being Yeezy. <laughs> oh. it, ain't, it ain't easy being Japanese. Mike's going for the Tetroid or whatever that thing is called. Tetris! 
I went for the Tetramino. The Tramalama Ding Dong. I mean, that's that's actually what the uh, pieces are called, are. Yeah, Tetramino. Tetramino. Whoops. The pieces have names, too, like, like Bob. Uh, like Long Island Z. Yeah, like in, in one of the instruction manuals, they had names, yeah. Yeah. A friend of mine did a really cheesy 90s rap uh, to, uh, uh, to a fake Tetris uh, cartoon intro. Yeah. Pretty funny. Oh no, you blocked all... Oh, there you go. I, I saw what piece was coming next. I'm, I, I knew I was good. You're blocked off the whole end. Oh, shit. A little, uh, a little off. I have death yeah, perception issues. Uh, the, don't get penis kid. I have death perception many, issues. How many lines do you have to clear before this? Oh, you're on the... Uh, uh, it's A-type, so it's... Uh, yeah, it's until I die, infinite. yeah. Which B type no, is uh, the one that uh, uh, gives you like thirty lines to clear, I think. Right, something like that. Well, there's also a C type. I don't know what that does. Man, don't worry about that. I the don't know. I don't know. Man, I was trying to do a deep cut video game joke. You guys talked over. Sorry. Oh, you're I, wait, I can't predict when you're gonna talk. If I could, I would. How, how I would not. Was it? If you, if I could predict when you would talk, I wouldn't be doing a fucking video game show on the internet. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. You would be exploiting me. No, I'd be exploiting myself. What are you fucking talking about? I have this cool, cool new power. I want to show it off, make millions of dollars with it. You kidding me? Millions of dollars. You'd never see my fat ass again. <laughs> my fat ass. My fat ass goes a little like this and twist and twist <laughs> wow yeah. isn't that something it is it is something a dog what it is I have no idea but it is something adopted I'm not seeing anybody around if somebody's drinking the alcohol and can't stop, you might say they're what? Addicted. And if th they like doing drugs, you might say they're what? Addicted. And what hit you in the face last night? Uh, a goose. <laughs> Thanks, Fabio. Sometimes things happen to people. What is it he said after that happened? This is dangerous and this will definitely happen again. Yeah. Don't don't remember hearing any other instances of a goose. That's yeah. That is the somebody, I think, I, that, is somebody the, on a roller coaster. that is the takeaway from this, yeah. It's like, no, Fabio, I don't think you're right about that. But then again, I've never really listened to you for advice because you don't seem like you're the brightest bulb in the tool shed. You're not the uh, you're not the most energetic crayon in the bunch. The no, I mean, uh, no, nobody, nobody ever hired him to be a uh, Harvard speaker. That's right. Uh, they just they give those positions to the fucking kicker on the Kansas City Chiefs. No, actually, they give those positions to, uh, Flava Flav. Yo, man! Flava Flav here at Harvard! Yeah, no, legit, like, somebody was just like, uh, his, uh, <laughs> they, they were dogging on that kicker for, uh, you know, the, the sexist shit that he said. And, uh, 
Flavor Flav was one of the ones making fun of him for it. It's like, oh, I don't see you giving no commencement speeches. It's like, no, that's because I'm actually doing lectures at Harvard, bitch. Oh. Like, yeah, uh, Flavor uh, Flav att- doing attention, a lecture on Emily Dickinson. Attention, students. It is time to go to the assembly to learn from, uh, to take the uh, elective class from Professor Flav. Uh, 911, is it really a joke in your town? You know, <laughs> when you're getting, when you're getting dunked on by Flavor Flav, you need to just, Yeah, it's like, time to go home, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the time to go home, reevaluate your life. You're Sometimes fucking... Twitter isn't a bad place. <laughs> Listen, you're the But most of the time, kicker. it is. <laughs> you're the fucking kicker on the Kansas City Chiefs. Literally. What you you kick a ball? <laughs> you kick a ball. Yeah. So, so did, so did Pat McAfee, be... and look what he's look how he's doing. Hello, women should be in the kitchen. Am I right? <laughs> oh, you just spent hundreds of thousands of dollars you don't have oh, on an education. Now get in the kitchen and make me a sandwich. Us men, us alpha males, like our women dumb. Get in the sandwich and make me a kitchen. What? Wait. Strike that. Reverse it. <laughs> Fuck. Starting to get and a little you know, fast. And here's the here's the funny thing. The same people who told LeBron James to just stood up and dribble the ball are saying about this kicker. Well, he has a right to his opinion. Don't censor him. Hmm. Hmm. Whatever. Whatever could the meaning behind that be? We only we only advocate free speech for the people that we like. Essentially. Yep. It's classic favoritism. I, uh, I hope the cheap spy is. It's football. They only fire people if they uh, don't. Uh, if they can do it out of a cannon into the side. God damn it. I wasted my hero. There goes my hero. That's the name of the long piece. It's a hero. I know. I was just saying the long part. piece. You know, by the time this segment ends, we're never going to see bombs. Uh, don't worry. I have a feeling I'm going to fuck up real bad and die soon. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. It's level nine now, so it's starting to get a little too hefty in here. Oh, God. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Hefty, hefty, hefty. hefty, hefty. hefty. I need some better pieces. I love that John Cena is doing those commercials. It's true. Coming next up. Me. Yes. <laughs> you can't see him asking if you know what I mean, Burr. That's right. John Cena is Ernest P. Warren, and Ernest kicks some ass. Hey, Vern! Vern, 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 Hey, yeah. Vern! I'm gonna body slam you, Vern! What do I mean? Alright, let's take a look at Bombtress. Bombtress? Or bomb, or bomb bombless. Bliss. Yeah, whatever. If you wanna be, uh. Oh! Sh- hitting, I was hitting back. Let's see what this is. Oh. Oh, okay. It's very similar. I assume you gotta try to defuse the bomb. Is this just like Dr. Mario? Maybe? Uh oh. Was that a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Oh, that. Oh. 
Uh oh. Oh, made a super bomb. What are you supposed? But, but, but what are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? I think you're just supposed to play Tetris until you t Tetris with the Tetris. Oh shit! Uh, oh, okay, I get. It. Oh, okay. Tetris, but with the splody booms. Hey! Hey, you did it! Nice. I, I, I boo beat Baps and Alp. <laughs> What a great way to end this segment. Oh, oh. Alexi Pajitnov. Huh? Alp is supposed to be Alexi Pajitnov. Oh, the guy yeah, the guy who made Tetris. Tetris. Yeah, 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 Can I, can I slide this in? And... Hey, I can. Ooh, look at Ooh. you, Mr. Fancy. Look at pants, Mr. Fancy, you. I mean, what? I mean, who? Okay. Well, I kind of understand what I'm doing. Hi. Sort of. Maybe. Maybe just a little bit. A ball? <laughs> you made a ball. I made a boomski. That didn't delete the whole line. What the hell? What the hell? What fresh hell is this? Oh! Oh, man, that was crazy as hell, man. That was crazy as hell. <laughs> eh, boom. Eh, boom. Shkaboom, shkaboom. Sweetheart. Summoner, na 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 Boom, shaboom. Get fucked. Oh! Nice. <laughs> so if that if ALP is supposed to be Alexei Pajitnov, who's BPS supposed to be? Um, Bulletproof Software. Oh. The developers. Big, big pussy suck at dash. <laughs> Thoughts on Super Tetris 2 and Bombless. Dane. Um, it's Tetris. It's always a good standby. Bombless was actually pretty clever. I liked it. It was a, uh, it was very, very lovely. Jason, yeah, uh, you know it's not that bad. Um, I mean, the Bombless was unique. Uh, Tetris was just Tetris. I don't know. I kind of prefer the uh, version of Tetris and Tetris and Doctor Mario more. Um, but mm. all in all, not not bad. Yeah, I, I'm a fan of puzzle games, as we've established in the past. I, I tend to be pretty decent at them. Uh, it, it, Bombless is a really fun little concept, and I'm surprised that, that that's never made its way over to America. Or if it has, I haven't seen it. Scores out of 10, Dane. Seven. Jason. Six. I'm going to give it an eight. Uh, on this edition of the show, we played Cybernator, Chester Cheetah, Too Cool to Fool, and Super Tetris 2 and Bombless. Best game of the episode, Dane. Cybernator. Jason. The Cybernator. Yeah, I'm going to give it the Cybernator as well. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Retro Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane, for Joan, and Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Retro Roulette.